Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at shooting a passport photograph. Passport photographs can be quite personal. I know a UK passport lasts for 10 years, so you're stuck with that photo for the next 10 years. So you might as well have something that you're happy with. You've got a couple of options about having passports taken. You can always go to the local chemist and have them shoot on a dedicated passport camera. But you're going to be limited with the choice of images you're going to walk out with. Really, they just want to take your photograph, have you pay and be on your way. The other option is you could use a photo booth where you crank the chair up and down till you've got your head in the frame. But again, you're going to be limited with the choice that you walk away with and are able to use for your passport application. So in this episode, we're going to show you how to take a passport photograph what you need to look out for so it actually qualifies uh, as a usable passport photograph and then move on to showing you how you resize it and print out a copy that you can put in with your application form. Remember if you like what you see on the photo show please comment, like and subscribe in the boxes below. Let's have a look at taking a passport photograph. We just need someone that needs a passport photo. So I'm going to set up now so we can start shooting a passport photograph. I've got a plain background behind me. This is just in my kitchen, so it's a, it's a plain wall. It's, uh, for a passport photo, it has to be a plain background. You can't have any crazy patterns or weird colours. And they want it to be a white or cream or grey background. So we're going to use this background here uh, just as a simple straight background for the passport image. I'm going to set up a very simple lighting setup. So let me get the lighting set up now and then we'll move on to the next stage. Right, so I'm going to use this. You might have seen me use this before. It's uh, an umbrella box made by a Light, And I love these because it folds down nice and small so you can transport it around. And when you open it up, it opens up like an umbrella. It operates like a soft box. And it fits just over the light. Just like that. And now very quickly, we've got a very simple soft box that we can use for taking the portrait. Uh, in the, if you don't have lighting, then I would suggest doing this with available light because uh, you, you want to try and avoid having shadows on the background. I'm using this because it gives a nice soft light and it will just give a nice even light on the passport photograph because you're not looking for shadows. We're not trying to do any arty type of portrait here. It's going to be a very straight representation of the person that we're photographing. So let me get this set up and then we'll move on to the next stage. Fantastic, so that's the lighting setup. I'm, going to, I'm using it quite high and it's going to be very uh, straight in front of our, our subject. Again, because I was saying we're not looking for side lighting or you know top light, we're looking for something very, very straight, very representative of the person without any shadows on the um, face at all. Don't mind putting a bit of shadow under the chin because that gives a bit of definition to the face. But we're not looking for anything arty here. It's got to be a very straight representation of the person you photograph. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a small speed light at the back just to kick some light up onto the background to just keep it as a, as a plain white background as well. And I'm going to trigger both of the flashes just with an onboard uh, remote trigger on the camera. Again, if you don't have lighting or you don't have a way of using your flash off camera, um, I would suggest doing this as available lighting. Find somewhere where you've got a nice even lighting not midday sun where you've got really strong shadows, possibly on overcast day, so you've got a nice even lighting on them uh, to take the passport photograph. But I've got the stuff here, so I'm just gonna you know, use the single light here to light the subject and a single speed light at the back just to kick a light on the background so it's a plain white background. So I'll set that up now and we'll move on. Okay, so I've got a speed light now that I've just set on a remote uh, receiver. I've got a remote trigger here as well. So that when I fire that, speed light fires and that's going to trigger the light at the top as well. This may be overcomplicating things for just a passport photograph, but it's the kind of way I'm used to working with portraits anyway. So this is the way I'm going to do it. I've got single light for the subject, speed light to light the background. Now we just need to get the subject in. Right, so now we've got everything set up through the passport. We just need a subject. And what I've got here is Callum. Now Callum has the dubious honour of being my son. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he, he's, he's in the, one has volunteered to do this and two is in need of a passport photo because his last one was taken when he was 10 years old and it's out of date so he needs a new passport photo 
The thing is, Cam is now 15 and a UK passport lasts for 10 years. So he's going to have to have this photo on his passport till he's 25. So I want him to be happy with the photo that he's having. I don't want him to be at 24 years old, going through border control with him looking like a child. So we've put him in a shirt, we've got him looking nice and smart, and we're going to start taking some shots now just to get the passport photo. And as I've said, with a passport photo, it has to be very neutral. So what I need you to do is stand very square on for me like that. And we, don't, we can't have any smiling. We can't have any weird expressions. Weird expression? Nothing like that. We can't have stuff like that. It's got to be a very neutral, straight looking photograph. So we're going to start off just doing a few straight shots and see how we're looking and then work from there. Okay, so relax, relax your shoulders. Okay, looking straight down the lens for me. And focusing on Callum's eye, keeping it nice and central in the frame. You've got a bit of hair just sticking, that's it, that's good. Okay, and again, looking straight down the lens for me. That's looking good. And again. Now I'm concentrating on this being very much just the head and shoulders, so I'm coming in nice and close. So you can see there that we're getting a nice image. Let's put it up and play. So it's concentrating on the, on the head and shoulders itself. Nothing else really matters, just keeping it nice and tight as a head and shoulders. So we'll do a few more shots, because what, what I'm looking for here, let's get me in. What I'm looking for here is to get a, a, a good amount of choice that we can pick from, pick the best image that we can use at the end of it. So I'm blocking out the way they count. <laughs> Let's go again. Okay, so nice neutral face. Looking good. Straight down the lens. Look slightly less like a serial killer. <laughs> no, no, that's fine, okay. <laughs> Yeah, another tip, don't make your subject laugh because it, it tends to put them off. Okay, so nice and straight, so. <laughs> Can't stop now. The way he's doing it, just take a few ways like <laughs> Just put him on. Stop making words. <laughs> okay, right, we don't make it worse. So nice and, nice and straight, looking straight down the lens, that's really good. Three more. Okay, I lied. Two more lied. <laughs> said two more and then did four. I know. <laughs> and five and six. <laughs> right, okay, one more. One more straight down the lens. That's really good. Now one for mommy. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, so I think now we've got what we need. Let's show you what we got. Oh God. Not that one. <laughs> no. Oh Christ. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we're getting... Right, so now we've got what is a good looking uh, portrait shot, passport shot. We're now gonna put that into Photoshop show you how to resize it and get it into the correct size because there's a ton of rules that go with having the uh, passport photo. Not only has it got to be very neutral and on a, uh, a white background, but there's rules about the sizing and how the head placement is in it. So I think, Callum, you're done. So there you go, that's how you shoot a passport photograph. Um, obviously I've mucked about a bit, but you take it a lot more seriously than I did. But we've got, now we've got some nice images that we can bring into Photoshop, resize to the correct size uh, for what the passport re requirements are, and I'll show you how to do that. Because the unusual thing about passport photographs, it's one of the few times now where you still actually need a printed photograph. I know they are talking about you being able to use mobile phone images now, um, but I don't think that's coming in for a while yet. I think for the time being, it still needs to be a physically printed photograph for you to use uh, for your passport application. So we'll upload the images into the computer, set them up in Photoshop, and I'll show you how to size them and print them out so that you can send them off for your uh, passport application.